in the last part of this video we will generate the graph in order to generate the graph go to stat then go to ANOVA and then main effects plot in the main effect plot select your response variable and select the factor one by one individually or you can select both all of them simultaneously just click the ok you will get these graphs now how you will interpret it it says then when we when we move from low level to high level of the factor a the fill rate increases likewise when we move from low level of factor b to high level of factor b again fill rate increases and similarly for the factor c that when we move from low level to high level of the factor c the fill rate increases so if your response variable is to maximize the response or outcome so we will select that factor A at high level, factor B at high level and factor C at high level, we will have to select this. Another way I am going to tell you that it is better for you people to use the data that has been uncoded for this analysis because such kind of data will greatly help you people to generate the graph with the values that have been shown on the x-axis so that you can easily interpret it. For example, Factor A at 12, its level, it's good for response variable. Factor B at level 30 and factor C at level 250. So in this case, I select, I suggest you people to use both coded and uncoded design in order to get, in order to make your decisions that which levels for each factor are good for our process. Now we, I know that you people have. Uh, perform the ANOVA analysis and you got the result that your interaction factors are not significant. However, I suggest you people to make the interaction plot by taking two factors at a time. And you can see it here. Both of the lines are not intersecting each other. So it is a graphical way to make the decision that interaction effect is not significant. Likewise, after performing the one, you will have to follow the same commands for the second one, just like A and C, just in place of B, type the C and you got it here. Now, how you will interpret it? Your X axis contain only C. It means that whether you will take um, this blue line, it shows that the A is at low level. So, by taking the A at low level and the factor C at low level, our response is less. And when we move by keeping the factor A constant, when we move, uh, when we increase the level of the factor C, our response increases. This red line shows that at factor at low level of the. So in short, it means that by keeping either low level blue line or high level of a factor A, when we increase the C, increase the level of the factor C, our response variable increases. Now, if you want to make all of these graph at once simultaneously, just like all of these three factors simultaneously, and if you do so, then click on display full interaction plot matrix. So you will get a new result. This is a very one table, it contains all of the information and you can see none of the pair of lines are intersecting each other. So it means that all of the interaction effects are found to be insignificant. So that was all about today. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any question, you can ask me on the WhatsApp as well as you can email me. Bye.